Hi, Yoram here. I was not going to shoot another video for a few days, but then I saw something that I thought was so cool and so easy to do that will increase the quality of your Zoom calls or the video that you get from your Zoom calls, especially if you're using OBS and everything, the entire scene comes through just one camera input that I just couldn't wait to share this. Shouldn't take uh, more than just a couple of minutes. First, I'm gonna take myself out and again, I'm going to share the screenshots that I took while doing this. I started a Zoom session and in that Zoom session, uh, what you can see is you can see me coming through OBS. You can see all the different elements like my logo. There's a green screen behind me that's replaced with a, uh, an image of a wall. There's this live thing. And uh, that's that's just what looks what it looks like when I opened Zoom. I want you to click on share screen. Even if you didn't intend to share anything, click on share screen. The next thing you'll get is that uh, screen that shows you what you can share, the different screens, a whiteboard, different windows, specific windows. But I want you to click on that one in the top center, the one that says advanced. And once you click on advanced, you're going to get this window. And I want you to check the one on the right, content from a second camera. You can actually bring a second camera with you into Zoom. So you can have two cameras, one of them through your camera input and the other really through the shared window. But we're going to do something a little different. So I want you to uh, get uh, select this one and don't forget to check the box for optimized screen sharing for video clip. This makes the quality of videos that you share so much better and uh, check the, the uh, box for share computer sound so that you will get the sound. Once you do that and you click on share here in the bottom, bottom you're going to get something possibly like this. So you're really sharing nothing. And that's because I have multiple cameras that I can share uh, in Zoom. And right now it's not picking any of them for some reason. Up there on the top left, is another button that's called switch camera. I want to, to click on it and what's going to happen is that you're going to scroll through the different cameras that uh, Zoom, that, that you define into Zoom or that Zoom could find. So uh, I have a long list of them and so we're going to start scrolling through all of them and at some point I'm going to scroll through. This is actually the camera that I have, the DSLR that, that I use as a webcam. But this time it is used as a um, uh, with with the green screen behind me. So it's not really the OBS output. This is the actual camera. But then as I continue to scroll, all of a sudden I get the OBS, uh, the OBS camera from it. So by doing that, what you did was everything out of OBS, instead of coming through a camera input, is now coming through the shared window. There are several advantages to it. Well, the disadvantage is you can't share anything else, but typically you don't share. If you're using OBS, all of your content is already with you coming through the same feed into Zoom. But when you share, remember what happens to the other side on, on the other side of this conversation. The share screen all of a sudden becomes the, the big screen. You don't have to tell them to pin you to the top. You don't have to tell them to go to speaker mode. And if somebody else speaks, your big screen share is still the one. That's not even the reason why I told you to, why I suggested to do that. The quality that Zoom passes through the shared screen is higher than the quality through the camera image. I didn't believe that. I read that somewhere and I couldn't find any anything on the Zoom website that would sustain this. But I just got off a Zoom call and I asked the other person to do exactly that. The other person shared their camera through the shared screen. I minimized the shared screen so that it will have the same size. There were words that I could not read in the camera picture of that other person. And I could read that when the camera came through the shared screen. Something to consider, it increases the quality, especially if you're using OBS of what your image and the text behind you looks, uh, looks through uh, in Zoom. Hope this is helpful. I'm going to try not to shoot a video like every other day, uh, but, but once a week. But I just couldn't wait and uh, had to share this with you. Be good. Stay safe. May trust be with you.